Yo, welcome back. This is Stu42 with another Minecraft episode. Uh, today, what are we doing today? Today, I thought I might actually go back and do the basic miner. Uh, since we have the bits made, I have a low voltage battery. battery. We have, have some batteries uh, and we'll probably need a chest. I just wanted to see how this thing actually worked. Yeah, chest. Plenty of chests. So what I thought I might do is set this up see how it runs and now where do I leave my batteries hey there we go let's take a bunch of them now after last time I have actually put the advanced extruder here just just temporarily just so that I can make uh, gears really cheaply it's only four ingots to make a gear that way now I've got this spot through here uh, let's just use a bunch of this for now so we're in a chunk that has magnetite so what I thought I would do is we will get our miner we'll set him up I don't know there <laughs> seems good enough uh, put the battery buffer here just so that we've got some power for it we'll throw I think we put those on that side put the chest on top Now, running. Now, does this mine down with the... Yes, yeah, so there's the mining pipe. So the mining pipe is going to run down kind of next to this, I guess. I'm guessing if we go there, we should be able to see it through there. Oh accidentally am I getting uh, Forrester's Hunters builders maybe no if I'm killing the mining pipe then I'm killing the mining pipe by the looks of it so not overly fast to do this so we're probably better off Ah, we need to go like that. Auto output. And it'll probably output well at the back. Let's No, that's probably gone into that. There it is. Yep, that one's gone in there. So we're getting impure piles of iron dust already. So that's going to push that mining pipe head down, not super fast. One of the things in the quests that we've done is back in tier two over here. Where is it? There we go. So there's the auto mining quest for tier two. Tier three actually had it already open here, auto mining MV. So we'll need to be able to make one of these at some point. It's just a bit... It's a bit of an ask at the moment, to be honest. I haven't got the aluminium, and we will get to that. Um, maybe, maybe this episode. I don't know. We'll see how we go. Why is that? No, it's still running. Right. So this is actually mining out the cobblestone and a bunch of the other stuff as well. So, hooray! Right, it's getting there. We may need some more mining pipe though. Yep. So there it goes down. So. While that is going down, where were we? We were looking in here. So we can do the good miner. Um, I did make the electrolyzer as well, which I noticed is opened tier four, which is hypochlorous acid. Wow, that's going to be a while away. Uh, let's zoom back in. So we've got the electrolyzing all the things. That's led us to ruby dust, which means we need chrome and aluminium. 20 aluminium dust from ruby dust, really? If so, that's going to be really awesome. Yeah, okay, and a bit of oxygen. So we're obviously going to need to do a bunch of stuff with ruby ore at some point. Um, yeah, cool. All right, well, I'm going to leave this going for a bit. I'll be back in just a moment once this has gone down all the way, which is 
uh, not too far down. So we've got to go down to here and then we'll see how it behaves uh, with this. It's supposed to have a bigger radius so that it can mine out uh, yeah, more stuff around it. So we'll see you back here in just a moment. All right, we've been mining for just a little while longer and we've managed to make it down obviously to the magnetite and gold. So it is now mining that stuff down there. Haven't ended up with too much cobblestone. I did actually clear a bunch of the shaft myself from the bottom. So I just went to the right coordinates, looked up and uh, dug out the stone. We're getting this other random stuff as well, which is pretty nice. So I don't remember there. I mean, there's probably a couple of small veins in there. There's gold, there's lapis and there's iron. I really doubt there would be a small iron oh, silver as well. So I really doubt there would be a small gold, small silver, small iron and small lapis or all in the what? 10 blocks, 12 blocks um, in the same spot. So down here though, let's go and see what it's actually doing. So down here it is, uh, there it is. So it's made it down this far, it hasn't gone any further, but it is obviously clearing out some of the ores. Now I'm not sure, where's a gold? Yeah. So I'm hoping that it'll just disappear this ore at some point and disappear this ore at some point, although there's a mysterious looking gap there a mysterious looking gap here and a mysterious looking gap here so it's obviously picking the ores out as it goes I just don't know how big the radius is oh, there's another one over there so this will be a good test to see just how far it gets to but it clearly hasn't made it to any of these yet let's put some torches out and as you can see, it's not the most speedy of <laughs> speedy of items either. But it is working, so cool. So while that is running, that seems to be the way it runs. We'll let it run for a little bit and then hopefully we'll be able to see sort of a mark around where it's going. I think I think in the tooltip if we have a look for the basic miner. Digging or instead of you no, maybe it had in here. Did you? Hey, what's wrong with that? Sixteen block radius. Cool. Sixteen blocks is pretty awesome. So it just means that we'll have to move it a couple of times for some of the bigger chunks, uh, or some of the bigger. Actually, a sixteen block radius. What if it means diameter or radius? A sixteen block radius would mean that it comes all the way out to. I don't know, like here somewhere. Well, actually, even further. That's 32 blocks across. Hmm. All right, I'll have to see how it goes. So while that is doing that, I thought I might just quickly, sneakily do another thing that I've been working on as well. And that is 832 of these. So if we grab all these out. So that is a lot of clay dust. Uh, but the reason we've done that is, as you can see, that has just completed this clay electrolyzing complete uh, but now we are going to have to electrolyze all of that clay dust and you get silicon dust or well, hopefully some aluminium well, yeah maybe not you can get aluminium as a reward uh, but as we head through here advanced electrolyzer let's grab the that wrench will do and I think we'll use this spot over here grab that put the electrolyzer down now we did complete that yes and now we're needing 128 silicon so let's just throw that in how fast does this run and it's grabbing an odd number 13 at a time now if this gives me some gas I'm gonna be a little bit annoyed ah it gives water interesting but look at that, we're getting aluminium, lithium, sodium, silicon. This is actually a pretty good thing. We're going to need to deal with the water though. So I wonder if we have a void pipe type situation. There's something there, void pickaxe. No. So that's going to stop running now because it's got too much water in there. 
All right, let me think about that for a bit. That's going to be pretty awesome, though, for getting silicon. And we're getting aluminium a lot faster that way as well. So, yeah, we'll have to figure out how to avoid all that water. You may be able to do something crazy like put a crucible next to it. No, we still haven't still haven't taken any out unless we're out of power I only left the one battery in there how are we going ah yes our battery is empty so let's throw another battery in there run over here Grab one of those out. Awesome. Hey, there we go. So it uses a little bit of power. These are, you know, these are 100,000 EU. Hey, look at that. It's taken the one from over there. In fact, two of them. There was a gold one over this way as well that I'm pretty sure... Uh, Now obviously we'll see where this goes once it goes down a layer. So I wonder if there was an ore there that it's taken out. It's pretty dark down here. Yeah, so what's that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So it's eight to this wall. But I'm suspecting, and I'm suspecting that's what it actually goes to. I know it says radius of 16, but I have a funny feeling they actually mean diameter of 16. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Yeah, so there's 8 there. And what's this way? 1, 2, 3, 4. Yeah, look, it's taken a couple out of there. It's taken some out of there. It's taken a couple out of there. Awesome. So I'm guessing it's going to actually go down a step very shortly. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So if we put a torch there, was that outside the eight? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So this is on the eighth one. So we'll be able to tell if it kills this one here, then obviously that's its limit. Ah, well, there we go. There's one that's left behind. So that's, yeah, it definitely means 16 as the diameter, not as the radius. And this is taking its time again. Oh, there we go. It just, it just took one. Cool. Well, I'd call that a success, even if it's slow. It just means we don't have to hang around. The, one of the disadvantages, though, for this is in this pack, it's going to take quite a while to get anything like a... Well, maybe not, but getting a world anchor could be fairly difficult because you need quite a few uh, ender pearls to run it. Uh, ender pearls are not the easiest thing to come by. Um, although, in saying that, down the bottom here, when you have kill all the things, oh, unclaimed rewards, really? One of one. Oh, I never claimed it. From when i did it a while ago awesome uh anyway so reward area i think no to grind or not to grind there was one quest down here our uh, coins 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 so in here there's this enderman complete so if you've got a bunch of survivor one coins which i've got like 300 and something of them you can hand 10 of them in it consumes them and you'll get two spawn enderman eggs that's actually really handy because it means we can it means we can spawn some endermen, hopefully kill them, and hopefully get some uh, ender pearls out of them. I'm going to need to go back and get my coins. So yeah, so anyway, I will break this one more time. I'm just going to run away and do a little bit of research into what's in this pack in terms of being able to avoid that water. 
Um, and I'll be back in just a moment with that. And I think that'll wrap up a nice uh, short episode given that there's been quite a lot of stuff going on behind the scenes. Uh, and the last couple of episodes have been uh, pretty gnarly as well. So I'll be back in just a moment. So one last bit to round out this episode. I have tried to figure out a way to avoid this. I tried putting a crucible next to it and it's interesting. You can actually get... Like the crucible will actually... Will actually fill, which is really nice. Uh, but of course it doesn't overfill. Uh, I just figured it would be like a bucket when you can keep bucketing the same water into the same cauldron over and over. But the cauldron doesn't work at all. Um, there is, however, uh, an item along here. Where are we? Uh, one of these ones up here. That one. Void transport? Void fluid. So there is a void fluid pipe. It does unfortunately take an end to pull. The rest of the stuff's pretty easy. I mean, we've got rubber. We've got... Um, glass uh, clear glass planes so it's just I've got only got two ender pills so I don't really want to spend one on that right at the moment uh, and I am just about to try the plunger so the plunger yeah the plunger got rid of only a bucket's worth which is kind of in a whole 64 buckets in there so that's going to be a waste of a plunger trying to go through all 60 of those so it looks like I might have to spend the money might have to spend the money or spend the ender pill rather on the void pipe so tell you what let's just quickly make one of those now we needed this sort of glass and we needed one of my enderpills now that I can make the enderpill spawners I feel a little bit better about doing this so the glass pane is Yeah, a saw with that. Let's just do this the old fashioned way. Grab one of them. Saw. Two of those. Four of those. One, two, three, four. And the pearl. Saw can come back out. And then we just need the rubber rods, which are. Look, file with some rubber. I don't think I have. A rod mold just yet. Oh, I do have an extruder, but there's kind of no point when I've already got. Yeah, you know what? Let's just do it the slow way. So we wanted a rubber bar. Four of these. It'll just be a little bit faster doing it this way. And then we want the file. And oops, that one. Four rods. Dink, 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 dink. Void fluid pipe. Cool, let's give that a go. Now there may be another way. I haven't spent a lot of time looking, uh, but we can now do that. Hey, and we're avoiding happily away. And I can now chuck a lot more clay dust in here and get lots of silicon, lots of aluminium as well, which is really nice. Uh, and this is, yeah, not even bleaching that because it's only a one amp machine. And it is avoiding the water faster than it can make more of it, which is always handy. So let's just do one last check on the mining machine and see where that has gotten to. It's finished. Yep, we got another battery used up. So that's What's that, three batteries that I've used through it? Wow, so nearly nearly two full stacks of magnetite, 12 gold, 20 vanadium. I think vanadium is further down in the, um, in the vein though, so we should be all right. Oh, look at this, Swiss cheese. Yep, so we're down a couple of layers and it has gone out to here. So what's that, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight from that side. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight from that side. And yep, eight from the side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And it hasn't gone to that one. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now I'm guessing. And well, that was not what I wanted to do. Let's... Wow, there's a bit of a tunnel down there. 
so yeah, it looks like eight in each direction. So because it takes one in the middle, I'm guessing that makes it 17 across, which is a bit awkward. Um, but that's okay. We can move it. So we've just got to move it 16 blocks in any direction and plonk it down again, and then it'll do the rest um, the rest of the mining for you. Wow, it does make this Swiss cheese stuff though, which is pretty, pretty nasty. But hey, at least you don't have to mine it yourself, right? So I think that is a good place to end this. We've done a couple of things, a couple of sort of relatively easy things. Um, and yeah, and then we'll come back next time and do something else. I don't really know what yet, but I guess we'll um, see when we get there. Anyway, uh, as always, thank you very much for watching and we'll see you next time.